In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the submarine and torpedoes to, well, go exploring in the ocean of rust. So before we go ahead and get our submarines, let's go to our level two workbench. And now this is where you're going to be unlocking torpedoes way, way, way at the bottom. So this is like right after like a 2000 scrap spin. You can get both of these for 75 scrap right at the end of the line over here. And to craft either of them is one metal pipe and 30 gunpowder. So it's actually quite easy to craft uh, these. And when you craft one, you actually get three torpedoes. So one craft equals three torpedoes of that kind. There are two different kinds of torpedoes here. The one is a direct torpedo and the other one is a surface torpedo. We're going to talk about that later on. So when you go to the large fishing village, which will be on one of the coastlines around your rust world that you're playing in. Now, in order to buy submarines, you can actually buy them from this lady over here at the fishing village by the vendor. Tell her you're looking to buy a boat and select what option you want. You want the one seater submarine for 200 scrap. So we're going to get it for there. If you want the two seater submarine, you're going to pay 300 scrap. Now, when you've purchased a submarine, it will be behind this lady here in this room. So you just have to run around and get in. You have to grab it before five minutes pause because in five minutes it's going to get repossessed and basically uh, removed so yeah grab it quickly you'll also get a full tank of 50 low grade fuel so that you can well uh, leave immediately without actually having any fuel so that's nice but let's start with the one seater submarine that looks like this so the controls for both submarines are pretty simple you can go w to go forward s to go back a or d to turn left or right and then you press left control to go down and left shift which is your sprint button to go up and the main point of actually using a submarine is to shoot torpedoes against your enemies and get to the underwater labs. In order to load torpedoes, you just have to look down when you're in the driver's seat and you can actually just drag the torpedoes, only one of each kind, into the slot there. So this will be either the surface torpedoes or the direct torpedoes. Now the big difference here is the direct torpedoes when you left click will shoot a torpedo directly in front of you in a straight line and will eventually hit something and explode un until it reaches its destination or its distance of how far it can travel. So it does take about two torpedoes of each kind to sink an enemy submarine. So it's going to be quite interesting to see naval combat in this game literally submarines shooting at each other gonna be actually kind of funny but other than that the direct torpedo is quite straightforward you just aim now let's talk about the surface torpedoes now this one is a little bit more tricky this is for boats and stuff above you because when you shoot this one it will go straight to the water level right at the top and then skim across like the the very top of the ocean until it hits its target so it will be like a surface torpedo it will literally hit like boats and anything that is in its way on the surface level of the water like right on the waves you right at the top there so if somebody's on a boat or a canoe or like whatever there is in this game where people can be swimming there it will hit them it's also like you can use it for bases though it doesn't really do a lot of damage for raiding so not really um, useful for that now talking about the one seater submarine now you can see it's pretty basic you have a window out here to the front of you you can look left you can look right you can also look behind you when you use left alt and you can access the fuel storage right behind you as well this way right outside the back window but other than that you're gonna have to use the windows to navigate and see where you are and using the map and what's in front of you what you can see out these windows to kind of like see what you need to do in a fight and whatever the health for the submarine is a lot weaker than the the other one and it's also a lot smaller but it's a bit more nimble than the bigger one so it's easier to i guess dodge things but <laughs> at the same point it's it's kind of like you know you can't really see what you need to dodge now if we go ahead and we grab the two-seater submarine now this one obviously takes two seats it has a sonar and an accelerometer that you can see your speed on the right there like how fast you're going and it's it's a lot more cozy in here. It has lights. You have your torpedo storage just below you like you do with the, the other submarine. The controls are also the same. It's control to go down, shift to go up. A, W, S, A, D, you know, just to turn around, like move forward, backwards, everything. Left click to shoot your submarines. I mean, your torpedoes at like enemy ships. This is my one that I have over here, but I'm on a modded server, so it doesn't want to blow up, but it's it's fun shooting it anyway. An interesting thing about this one is because it takes two seats, you have the sonar that will actually indicate when there is an enemy, like, you know, like a, a vessel, like a boat, a submarine, or just something in front of you, as you can see by this green icon, which is the submarine that I'm shooting at, which is the one I just purchased earlier. And you can see you can swap seats over here and the fuel storage right behind you is accessible over here so if you need to put more fuel in you can do it from the inside of the submarine just like the one-seater submarine a pretty cool thing about this submarine is with the sonar, it will actually also put the location of the entrances through the moon pools into the underwater labs when you get there on the map. So you can see this blue lit area is where you can actually take your submarine and raise it into the underwater moon pool. 
Or you can just fight sharks underground too. I mean, that's also very fun to do. Though it does seem these fuckers take a whole lot of torpedoes to actually damage or kill them. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm just shooting this thing. And it's like, it's not dying. I don't know what's happening, dude. It's, it's crazy. Back to what I was saying with the moon pool. You just have to raise yourself into the moon pool here. I shot a torpedo and I just like blossom myself backwards there so don't mind that when you exit here you will exit on top of the thing so that's nice and then you can just jump in here uh be careful there is radiation and there are npcs in here as well that will shoot you so yeah good luck that's everything you pretty much need to know about the submarines in the rust update and i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching